me, Superstar Dolph Ziggler, and you're watching Brett Alive. What is going on, guys? Brett Alive back here. Never heard of Brett Alive? I do WWE and WWE action figures. And today, we have the WWE action figure backstage area. Uh, it took me a while to set all this up. I've been meaning to do this video ever since Christmas Day because I did get the backstage brawl and part of the performance center and a bunch of accessories for it. Yeah, so what I really want to just like quickly say is uh, this is authentic because like here's the backstage area. There are the curtains and yeah, there's the Titantron there at the entrance to the actual WWE arena. So yeah, that is very authentic how I did that. But yeah, I'm just going to show you everything that's in my backstage area. So without further ado, let's get into this. So first over here, you of course have the garage area. You have like a little piece right here. And then in this video, I'm going to tell you where I got all, every single thing that you see here. So yeah, this part came from the backstage bra. And how it works is you just push in at the bottom. And then it slides up really fast, which is pretty cool. And then it slides up in this little part up here. So this is just for show, this little piece right here. But yeah, this goes down and up the little uh, garage. I don't have, like, the fully outside garage yet. I'm thinking about getting, like, a second table and, like, putting some cars out there and some cool, like, ambulance sets. And over here, this is basically just your workout area. You got, like, a pull-up bar, some cool little workout pieces there. A stretcher, just in case anybody gets hurt. You have your little workout ropes that you, like, go up and down, like, with that. Really cool. And then you got, like, a little bench press thing there. This is actually breakaway. Uh, yeah. And all this came from the Performance Center, but this came with uh, the Backstage Brawl. Here we got the mirror, where you could see yourself lifting some weights. Here you got some weights here. They are connected. You can unconnect them. And yeah, the mirror is pretty cool. It does break in the center, as you guys could see right there. And yeah, there's a punching bag in the corner. Also breaks away. You got some ladders right there, just stacked up on the side, just in case you need to like get something quickly done backstage. Here, over here, this is like one of my favorite pieces. You got the fire extinguisher attached to the wall with some clips. And then you also have a watering fountain that snaps off. And then out here, this did not come with any backstage pieces. We actually picked these up, these chairs up from Ringside Collectibles and the table using discount code LIVE. That's L-I-V-E, all caps, at Ringside. Yeah, we picked those up from Ringside. And then out here, you also have a little list for like some matches. It is the list of Jericho. But yeah, a little cool list. That's a breakaway table. Here you got some ladders laid out on top of these craw rollable crates that we got there. They actually roll. They have pretty nice tires. They do open, which is pretty nice. Let's see what's in this one. Uh, you got like some cinder blocks, some WWE titles, and a ring bell. And let's see what's in the other one. I honestly don't know what's in here, so you never know. Let's open the big one. Okay, we got it open, and it looks like there's a brief briefcase, a tire, and some WWE tag titles. So yeah, pretty cool. Those crates are really nice. Those came with the backstage brawl. And if you guys have looked on eBay before, you guys probably know that the backstage brawl is really expensive. But I did get my backstage brawl used for a pretty nice price on eBay. So yeah, pretty cool there. And then here's the curtain. This is actually fabric, which is really nice. And yeah, you just enter out there. I'm just going to fully lift up the curtains. And yeah, there's the entrance, as you can see the announcer's table behind the glass right there. And then you just enter through here, and then you can head on out to the Raw Arena. Pretty cool. And then you guys also have a little ramp leading up to the stage, of course. And then over here, you just got some barrels. I'm not really sure what's in these. There might be nothing. Yeah, there is nothing in these. But yeah, we got three barrels just sitting in that corner over there. You got a garbage can, just in case anybody has any garbage. Here's the locker room area. These lockers actually like cave in as you guys can see like the little crack right there for it to um, break through. Pretty awesome. And then there's another Ringside Collectibles chair that we got from Ringside using discount code LIVE. And yeah, here's one interview area. You got the camera right there in the interview area. And here you got have a little wheelchair that's just sitting there. I didn't know where to really put it backstage so I just threw it right there. And then you had, there's the interview area, which is actually pretty nice. You got the new, uh, newer WD logo right there. And then, yeah, pretty nice. And over here, we have the general manager's office. 
It is the. It does say Raw General Manager, not SmackDown. It, the door actually opens and closes, which is actually very nice. Pick up that barrel. So yeah, guys, and then once you enter into the door, you will be in the Raw GM office. So here's the GM's office. You have another fire extinguisher right there. That one did, is not connected. Well, it is with like a piece of tape because I put it there. But yeah, over here you got Mick Foley and Stephanie McMahon. And I forgot to mention, in the end of this video, I will be placing like a bunch of figures in here, like a WWE action figure setup. So yeah, stay tuned for that at the end of this video. But yeah, there you have Mick Foley and Stephanie McMahon uh, just hanging out in the GM office. There's the old Raw logo, pretty nice. And then there's like a little... Uh, there's the couch they're sitting on, which is actually breakaway, and then you have a little stand for the lamp, of course, pretty nice. There actually is like a stick holding up that piece of lamp, which is nice. And then here's the interview area, because usually in the uh, general manager's office on Raw and SmackDown, they do have an interview area in their office. So yeah, there's Renee just waiting to interview anybody who comes on in through the door. And then there's the interview uh, curtain, and then some mesh net. Uh, and then there are two uh, lighting fixtures to uh, brighten up the interview area. There's a stretcher and a pallet. I don't know what the pallet's doing in the general manager's office, but I mean, yeah. So yeah, guys, now we are going to be throwing some WWX figures in this arena right now. In three, two, one. Boom. Okay, guys, we just put... All of the figures set up in awesome positions backstage. If you guys have never seen me do this before, I usually do a WWE action figure setup. Never heard of a WWE action figure setup. I set up every single figure I have in the arena and backstage. But just for the sake of this video, for this review of the backstage area, I just threw some figures in here pretty quickly. So yeah, enjoy and let's get now to it. Here we have the club, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson working out backstage before they're heading out to the ring. Here we have Kurt Angle getting a drink of water because he just got back from the ring. Here we got Big E, he just got finished working out. Here we got the Boogeyman lift pull, doing some pull-ups on the pull-up bar. Here we have Shankman and Daniel Bryan talking about the SmackDown Live show that's about to go on and, Dan and AJ Styles is getting giving his opinion on the matches that Shankman has written down for the night. Here we have Rich Swan open up the garage because he's about to leave. Here we have James Ellsworth begging for his job back. Here we have Kevin Owens and Finn Balor having a talk. And Finn Balor's having a drink of water. Here we have The Shield. Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, and Dean Ambrose about to get out to the ring. And there's Seth Rollins doing some jumping jacks. Here we have The Rock about to surprise Raw and enter the Jam's office to ask to be in the main event. Here we have Brock Lesnar. He's about to get all of his stuff and change. He's about to leave the arena because he's by the lockers. Moving into the GM's office, here you have Mick Foley and Stephanie McMahon looking at John Cena and how he performs in this backstage promo with Renee Young. And here we have, last but not least, Braun. I'm not finished with you. He's about to send Roman Reigns off of the table. If you guys have any ideas for the backstage area, please drop them down in the comments below. I'd love to see what you guys have in mind. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely like, comment, share, subscribe to Bread Alive, and I'll see you next time. Bread Alive!